Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. I'm out of lockdown, out of Victoria. I got stuck down there. Palaszczuk wouldn't let me back into my own state, but that's another issue. You know, had a lot of people talk about a haircut. I went and got a new haircut. Whew, pretty average. But anyway, let's have a look at this. I'll tell you something that's not average, and that are top enders. Top enders, a lot of people think a top ender is a side console. Well, they are, they can be a few things. Top, end, top Enders invented the whole thing, you know? When I was a kid, I had a mate who had a 450 Top Ender. We used to go 50, 80 k's offshore. I loved that boat. I loved it. And you'll love one too. Let's have a look why. So the Top Ender comes on a Quintrex aluminium trailer, 1,098. Just a great trailer. We don't have any warranty. We don't have any problems on them. Occasionally the lights go, but they go on all marine because if you're putting electrics into salt water, your lights are crap. If you're an inventor out there and you're inventing trailer lights, you're gonna make a fortune because no one's done a good job. Now, so we've got the trailer. Minn Kota up here, 55 pounds, spot lock, because everyone's doing it. We're a Minn Kota superstore. No one can buy them cheaper and no one sells them cheaper than us. Have a look at that hull on it. You know, because people go, well, will I fire a 460 Renegade or a top ender? Well, if you've got the guts, buy the top ender because they're bloody awesome. Look at the flare, just squirt that water out and that hull. You know, like I've said, nothing else. There's no other boat that has the same hull as Quintrex. They're not patented. Other people just can't make them. There's only Quintrex and then there's everyone else. And you know it, resale's better. All the big dealers are Quintrex, right? Whether you're a big dealer, then you've got Quintrex or Quintrex makes you into big dealer, not sure. Anyway, look down the side, we've got that new scheme. New colour scheme down the side for the top enders, all of the Quintrex range, mags, polymer guards. The polymer guards on the trail, people say, oh, can't I have tin? You don't want tin, because when you drive down the road, all the stones chip all the gal off the inside of the tin and they rust from the inside out. Now, looking down the back, we've got a 70 on this, and it's the new model 450, right? So it's got the raised up transom, with the two platforms on, one with the ladder, the other one you can put burly buckets, you can put auxiliary brackets, why you'd ever, well, I know why you'd need an auxiliary motor, because you didn't buy a Yamaha. Because if you buy a Yamaha, they never break down. Big statement, prove me wrong. You know, they are unreal. These things are rated to a, a 75, but you don't need, it's only a 450. The 70 is absolutely perfect on this boat. The 75 is like a 90. You know, sure enough, if you're a diver, you cast a big shadow, you've got a couple of chubby little kids, you know, chuck the 75 on, but you'll never need it. Now, Dan, while we're looking up here, have a look at this. Ski pole bait board. Bloody ingenious. It's awesome. I don't know why this is up there. They hang down here and all the slop off your bait board come off. You pull that pin out. I might just do it, see how hard it is. Oh, not very hard. There's your ski pole. You know, one minute you're fishing, the next minute you're, you're towing the kids around. If you go to I Wyverno or any of the dams, geez, that'd be a good bit of gear. And in there, if I can put it back together, anyone can. Good ladder, good transom. Have a good look at that transom from the back, Dan, because they are different. Now, it's not, it doesn't really apply that it does anything different. They're a little bit higher, a little bit changed. You've got that great little handle on the side here which, you know, when you're getting into your boat, that's, that's, a, that's a, a good thing. Let's have a look inside, Dan. You've got a seat bracket up the front, one ear, there's four of them. Now, this good console's new, this good console. This is an awesome console, really, look at it. Solid handle, glove box under here, for, put a couple of ham and pickles in there, you put your Minn Kota controls and stuff in, good hand. You never got enough room in a boat. Good room under there for your feet. You know, and of course, this is one of those beauties where you can move your steering. You know, if your boat doesn't do that, it's not Quintrex. You could nine inch Garmin there. Good steering, good ergonomics. And you know, when, this isn't just a gimmick. So I'm sitting down, I'm driving. Maybe I've got a couple of rods out the side. I'm up there chasing barra, trawling, and I'm just driving around. Like right, it's not hydraulic steering or anything. It's just pull push. So I'm driving around, I'm holding on here. That's all beautiful. But if I want to stand up, move the steering up. 
It's just a little bit more ergonomic. It's, just, it's awesome, you know, I really like it. Over the side, underfloor tank, you put a bimini, got a couple of little rod holders, your live bat, your um, white light goes there, a couple of small little consoles, little um, side pockets there, you can chuck some sinkers and lose some stuff, that's what I normally do. Now at the back here, Dan, you've got your live bait tank, which is made a bit bigger. You know, you put all your, all your mullet in there, slimies, anything you can find. You've got your battery isolation switch, clear bowl. Under that one's how you get down to your automatic bilge pump. Look down there, pull your sinkers out. You've got your house battery here in a nice poly molded. That's nice, all in the centre. Bit of storage at the back. The seats, VHF radio. In the middle here, you've got a big poly storage. Now you store in there, you can put ice in it, you can put, turn it into a live well or keeper. Tank right in the middle of your boat, awesome. Plenty of room up here where you could uh, fish from, lean up against. I'd probably, this is probably where I'd be. I'd just be here flicking lures, leaning. Now, good storage. Have a look in there, Dan, because that's a lot of storage. There's a lot of tackle boxes and a lot of gear. You can get all your safety gear in it. There's your washing gear. It's all got a carpeted floor underneath. At the front, you've got a, lit you've got a lithium battery, the breakaway, all wired up, put in there. This, guy's, it's, this boat's actually going up north. This is going up into in and out, Marie, uh, in and out, up into Darwin. Guy was down here on holidays, dropped it in the yard. We had one, he's gone, I'll have that, done. So off it went, so that's good. Good little anchor well at the front. Tell you what, there's a lot of room. Everything's sealed off and that's important if you're fly fishing and you're stripping line back into the front. You don't, you don't want anything to get caught. Big beamy boat, awesome riding boat, magnificent resale. Tell you what, if if you want to, uh, if you if you want to fish offshore, if you want to go into the empowerments, if you want a boat you can handle yourself, if you've got a couple of kids, and you, and you just want the top of the range, that's what we're talking about. The top of the range side console, you can get it as a centre console too. You know, look at the top ender, Quintrex top ender. And if you're looking for a Quintrex. Well, you're going to end up at Brisbane Yamaha because we're famous, we're the biggest, we've always been the biggest. I've got the best range, you can probably see in the background, I've got hundreds of boats here. So do yourself a favour, get one of these legendary boats, call the team on 3888-1727 or go online, brisbaneyamaha.com.au and hopefully I'll see you in a top ender.